Hello, my name is Dean McMorrow. I am 17 years old and I will be reading my review of The Crooked Mask by Rachel Berg, which will be published in Paper Lanterns issue 5. I thank the Paper Lanterns team for publishing my review. The Crooked Mask, sequel to The Twisted Tree, is a gripping follow-up from writer Rachel Berg. The story instantly plunges you into the conflict and keeps you hooked from start to finish. A novel to claim the attention of thrill seekers and mystery buffs. The story finds Martha arriving at the circus of Myth and Mayhem, where performers reenact Norse mythology legends. Here she encounters mysterious beings, including the villainous Jester, who holds many secrets. Martha's telepathic abilities and relations with the Norse gods are tested as she slowly uncovers the truth behind Nina's death, ex-girlfriend to her lover Stig, who now haunts her and her mother as a disturbed apparition. With an eerie setting, layered mythology, and a devious mystery at her disposal, Berg creates effective tension. The storyline continuously recontextualizes itself with each twist. Our perceptions of the circus employees, as well as characters close to Marta, are constantly changing, and this raises your curiosity effortlessly. Marta makes for a likable and layered protagonist. Memorable moments include when she uses her powers to get closer to the truth, to find justice for Nina, but also peace for her mother. At 278 pages, not a single chapter feels wasted, and each paragraph peels back the circus residents' importance to the story, as well as unearthing horror within the plot. The novel's minor flaw is that due to the mysteriousness of the story, some characters within the circus feel empty, with little motivation outside of their roles in the circus. But this is a rarity to a few characters, and most are given relatable goals that make them interesting to uncover. Overall, The Crooked Mask serves as an impressive tale, with elements sure to please fans of Burke's previous works, but also serving as an absorbing novel for new readers. I thank you for listening, and I hope that this will encourage other young people to take up reviewing books. I love reading books, and reviewing them is a great hobby.